think betrayal, God, it's, for my character, there's <coughs> a personal betrayal in a sense that um, I'm going against. When I meet Sarah and I fall in love, um, emotionally I'm kind of going against everything that I've, I've been for decades, you know, of who I am. Um, what I liked about the character is he's kind of asleep. And, and he's in a very privileged position. Uh, he lives kind of like a perfect life, you know, what would be a dream to most people. Uh, materially, he's comfortable. And, and he's very comfortable and completely dead and numb. And then he meets this girl and, and something awakens and that's a terrible thing for his life because you know how that story plays out. It's never good. Um, but, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, that's one thing that attracted me to it. Well, I, it's, um, Sarah is the betraying her husband by embarking on an affair so that's she's also sort of but then again before she meets Jack she's slightly slightly lying to herself so there's like double levels of betrayal but I think this is like life and people do this all the time um, that she's sort of really really trying to be content and be okay with her current situation and it's not like it's a dire situation and she's desperately unhappy um, but a, similar to Jack that she's slightly asleep and and she's sort of slightly telling herself career-wise that yeah that, that that kind of photography and in that vein is what she wants to do and she knows it's not true um, and I think meeting Jack has a quite a jarring but amazing effect on her in the sense that she gets a bit of clarity and things you know when you set, meet certain people you see a great thing um, like a great play or whatever it can be anything um, that you kind of see the world with a slightly different eyes and I think that meeting Jack has done that um, and reawakened other areas of her life as well. It's funny, the word betrayal, it feels so strong to me. It's like such a strong and scandalous betrayal. word betrayal. But, but the story, I think, is more, is more complex than that. It's less scandalous and it's more about people, uh, all these characters in the show, <coughs> coming to terms with various aspects of themselves or their life situations. And, you know, it's, it's just more interesting than it, I, I think it sounds. When I, when I hear betrayal, I, I just feel it's so scandalous. But yeah. this is more relatable. It's more about human situations yeah. that we all face. You know? It has universal, <coughs> um, ish, you know, universal topics that it's dealing with. It's about love and, and commitment and, um, and work and just think and responsibility yeah. and family. And, and uh, if you can't relate to that, maybe you live on a different planet. <laughs> and, um, you know, in th uh, the show is also very cinematic. I think it's a little more cinematic than m most, well, not most TV, but some, some TV, maybe network TV. Um, so I think it's, it's also going to be very beautiful to look at. And Chicago is a beautiful city to film in. And great actors, you know. I mean, when I found out who the cast was, I was very excited to, to work with such esteemed actors.